Hello, I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, your guide through the ARRL license manuals. The videos in this course follow the manuals section for section. You can get the ARRL license manuals from the source listed below the video. After you watch the video, dig into the corresponding section of the book, study the associated questions, and then come back for the next video. Section 8.5 talks about remote and uh, automatic operations. The two are a little bit different. Now, when you operate your station, let's say your station is simple as a handheld radio. When you operate that, that is called local control. The person who is operating the station is uh, the control operator. Now, you can operate remotely this is possible to do and in fact with the uh, internet uh, rather easy to do but what that means is you're at a control point and the transmitter is somewhere else the FCC doesn't care where your receiver is but they do care about where your transmitter is the reason that uh, they mention this in here is because from the control point wherever it is uh, you must have complete control over that transmitter uh, so that if something goes wrong, you can take it off the air. Now, you can control it directly, wireline, you can use a radio link to do it. Uh, there's lots of different ways of, of doing it. Uh, the internet is, is popular right now. Now, that's remote operation. You're in control in real time. Now, let's take automatic operation. Automatic operation is where you have something that will operate without you tending to it. Let's suppose you own a repeater that repeater is going to identify itself um, when it needs to probably in Morse code over the top of a conversation but if you're the control operator for that you need a way to turn that thing off if something goes wrong okay but the automatic operation means that it operates without you having to tend to it uh, all the time now if you're there are issues you're not off the hook if there is a problem you need, and the repeater no longer responds to your command inputs, you need a way to get there and physically turn the thing off. Now, uh, there's different rules for data. Uh, with uh, data communications, you can do store and forward kinds of things. The thing that comes to mind is the digipeter. A digipeter is a two meter or whatever station that will listen to somebody's packet and then retransmit it and a retransmit it where other people can hear it and this is quite common operation in uh, two meters uh, for packet radio on 145.01 megahertz um, this operates automatically it automatically retransmits those packets it automatically identifies itself you don't have to be there but if anything goes wrong you do need to be able to shut it down there are other things that operate automatically for example mailboxes it is possible on certain HF frequencies using Pactor 3 to get into uh, mailboxes but generally those things need to be set up in advance now if I have my packet station up uh, and someone calls to KE0OG-2 they will get into my mailbox and they can leave a message they can read a message that I left for them and it's pretty cool um, but you do need to uh, uh, check it out now recall you may do either of these things that are uh, mentioned here you may have your transmitter up on top of a hill near your home with a uh, uh, telephone wire coming down to your control station in your house you get much better uh, coverage that way so there you have it that's really all there is to this uh, idea of remote and automatic uh, transmissions thanks for following along with the videos and the book after you have studied this section in the manual and are satisfied you understand the questions and their answers come back here for the next video the ARRL is the National Association for Amateur Radio, and I urge you to join, even if you don't have your license yet. That way you get QST, the League's monthly magazine full of articles for beginners and veterans alike, or you can choose On the Air, a magazine designed specifically for those new to amateur radio. Until we next meet, 73.